Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Apparently, I'm back playing Merry Gear Solid 2. The Ghost of Christmas Past. Um, on our last episode, we encountered the Ghost of Christmas Present, who was a milk-themed villain. And now I have to remember to reset the calendar on my computer. Or else possibly freak me or my girlfriend out later. Um, but yeah, let's uh, continue on our merry way oh also confirmed merry gear is the thing um let's go <laughs> yeah the silliness all right that's one down snake just two more to go all and right if i remember correctly one of the ghosts is on the first floor continue making your way down there okay i see naughty children i'm gonna cane them like these two. Oh, I found him. Crap. <laughs> I mean, oh crap. Snake. Snake. Dragon. I think it's the longest I've gone into an episode without getting caught. Doing. Alrighty. I know it's a weird complaint for a free game that was made over 10 years ago. Man, I wish there was control settings. Yeah, because I can't I can't even use uh, WASD. I'm using the arrow keys. It's just unnatural. All right. Got him. Let's get out of here. Hey, I'm sure. Oh, I get that one, man. Alright. I can't walk indoors. I'm bad at that. Alright. Looks like you got two kids up ahead. Okay. We got one of those going on, huh? What do you guys think? Think I can knock them both out when they're crossing? Wow. A long cycle. You guys just know I'm waiting, huh? Alright, um... Let me try something here. Alright. I just want to see if I can get one. Give up. Yeah, there we go. Nerds. It's like stabbing children with a candy. Um, let's make that a saying. That's a great saying. All right, what do you got? Just up ahead is Galloway Gardens, one of Outer Savin's most popular non-shopping attractions. Uh -huh. It's a large thermoplastic structure that emulates a natural biome, inspired by the Eden Project in the UK, but architecturally, it's slightly less ugly. It perfectly Got him. replicates a subtropical coniferous forest biome, which allows them to grow Christmas trees right inside the mall, significantly cutting the carbon footprint involved in transportation. Nice. the crap am I even doing? Get my jolly butt in here. Alright, um... 
Oh my gosh. Really? There he is. I'm surprised he made it that long. Alright, that was dumb. Okay. Let's try this again. Get wrecked. He's over here. Crap. <laughs> I just want to rush through and hit children. What's... Anything wrong with that? Snake. They've been naughty. Naughty. All right. Let's go. Get wrecked, Timothy. Tenacious little cookie, aren't you? All right. Well, I can. I can't go up and down. I can only slide. All right. So. I guess. Oh, that's not. I thought that was a clacky floor. All right. Well. then. Ah, one of these. Alright. Uh, um, I'm gonna have to take down at least two children. So. I think I can just rush up there and get through these two. We're gonna try it. At the very least. Over here. Nope. Went a little too early. Too easy. All right. Um. Yes. Snake, there should be another storage area nearby. Keep your eyes peeled. Be on the lookout for it. Okie dokie. Um. Guess in here. There we go. Oh. Not a gun. I'm surrounded. Snake. Please respond. Snake? Snake! Uh, geez, do you do that every time I get caught? Well, right. Yeah. How'd you manage to escape alarm? Turns out these kids are mannequins. Mannequins? Ah. Uh... Oh, that's right. You're in a children's clothing store. Creepy. Still, you'll want to be extra careful there. That's the perfect place to set up an ambush. If only your radar wasn't jammed, you'd be able to avoid the real guards. Yeah. Maybe you should try to do something about that and come back later. I mean, you told me to come here. Dear God. I've opened up the door to the revolving armalot. What for? You might find something useful in there. Oh, man. It's gonna make me backtrack. All right. Well. Let's do it. And I'm gonna have to come all the way back, aren't I? Sick. All right. We can do this. Audi. This part's going to be a little trickier. Um...
Don't walk in my square. Dang it. You jerk. You took the... I don't know if that's the most or least direct path. You took the way... You went the way I didn't want you to do. All right. Um, crap. All right. Well, then, in that case, how about a little uh, this? Yeah, give up. That's right, just your imagination, kid. Crap! Crap! Ha! I hate these doors. It's the number one enemy in these games. Alright, let's try... nerd. Alright. Yoink. Alright, this kid is... Come on. There we... Oh, he's puking. Gross. Alright. Okay. I just gotta knock these two kids out. They never look backwards. Oh, they do switch places. Yoink. Alright. Like survival cuisine. Six buffets. More than enough to fill anything that moves. Alright. Oh, my radar's jammed. Bump, bump, bump. I can't even look over, really. Um, alright. Oh. Uh, a tiny spinning present. Ooh, and a small child. Get wrecked, nerd. Toast. Ew, moly toast. Yeah. Nice toast. It looks like it's been sitting here for years. Hmm. A toast of Christmas past. Looks like the mold's got Gross. a slow glow to it. Must be full of power. Snake, you're not considering. Eat it. I, you're not gonna eat that. Eat it. All this sneaking around's got me awfully eat hungry. It. Oh, this can't be safe. Uh, don't worry about it. A bit of strawberry jam just to mask the mold and. Not uh, Otacon. What's happening to the jam? Wow, it looks like the mold is breaking that jam down. It's almost completely disappeared. Oh God. Disappeared. Great. So now I've got a jam-eating mold. What use have I got for that? Well, it's a stretch, but. But maybe it could break down radar jam too. Try taking it out in an area where the Jolaton radar reads no use. Yeah, I'll do that. That's that's hilarious and stupid. I love it. All right, uh, out of here. Yep. And now I gotta go all the way back, don't I? Yay. Well, that's a way to artificially make your game a little longer. Oh, there are no children? Okay. I won't complain. If if it literally got rid of all the kids in my way on the way back, I'll take it. It's fine. Oh, here we go. Oh, all the kids are gone. Yeah, no, it's great. Something must be going on. They're naughty. Snake, you'd better hurry. 
They were being naughty. They got what they deserved. Hey. And all right. Oops, I gotta watch out for uh, the camera at the very least. funny store over here too zone of the fenders I don't get it all right there we go oh lord He's over here. I touched snake what's going on snake 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 all right let's keep going my grade's gotta be like what? Like a Z minus? Alright. Heck yeah. Did it. Another boss fight? It's got big boss fight energy in here. Um. Ooh, a present. Box, nah. <laughs> Not a con. Hell. What is it, Snake? It's a trap. I can't see. I can't breathe. And everything smells like cardboard. Wait, Snake, nah. are you inside of a box? I am. Snake, you can't go crawling into every cardboard box you see. Not all of them have handholds. I don't need handholds. What I need are air holes. Snake, you do realize that the holes on cardboard boxes are used to make them easier to lift. Don't you? And I suppose the air that flows through those holes is just a convenient side effect. Or have I been imagining that too? Look, there are some things you can only learn through first-hand sneaking experience. And there are some things you could only learn by clicking through random articles on Sneakypedia. Sneakypedia? Gross. Well, are you familiar with the idea of Sakoku? I'm not watching another one of those again. Nope. No, Snake. This has nothing to do with my Japanese animes. <laughs> Sakoku, or Locked Country, refers to Japan's old foreign relations policy. Under Sokoku, no Japanese were allowed to leave the country. At the same time, no foreigners were allowed into the country. Remarkably, it marked one of the longest periods of peace in Japanese history. Oh, brother. I can see he's been reading the sneaky page on Japan again. By sealing yourself in a cardboard box without air holes, you'll be isolating yourself from the outside. That includes all of the good, but also all of the bad. Huh. I'll still be able to use the box as a stealth device, though, right? That's right. As long as you're standing still, you'll be disguised to look just like an ordinary cardboard box. Be Sick. careful, though. Don't let any enemies get too close, or your disguise will be ineffective. Stay out of the enemy's path. Got it. Be careful not to forget to unequip the box when it's not in use. Why? To breathe. Oh, right. Oh. Right away. Uh-oh. That looks like you've got company. Watch out, Snake. That's the Tengu Advanced Defense Patrol Operations Lightning Espionage Unit. That's a mouthful. Tadpoles? Most people just call them the Tadpoles. Yeah. Good stuff. Tadpoles are a highly specialized PNC group, notorious for their lightning quick reflexes and unparalleled dexterity. Oh, no. Oh, they look just like little girls to me. Well, they are little girls. Ballerinas, to be precise. Uh oh. Ever been to a children's ballet recital, Snake? Not that I can remember. Believe me, these kids would give you an unforgettable performance of the Nutcracker. <laughs> You'd better not let them get too close. All right. The tadpoles wear special Tad Pro stealth suits made from a synthetic semi liquid material called Tad Polyester. That must be what gives them their slimy appearance. The Tad Polyester acts as a lubricating agent, eliminating almost all friction between the joints. This allows for total fluidity in motion. The lubrication also prevents anyone from getting a firm grip on its surface. So no CQC? Afraid not. What about distractions? Like a ballet dance, every tadpole's position is choreographed by a central controlling entity called the level designer. <laughs> These instructions are then communicated to each individual tadpole via nanomachines. Because of the complexity and intricacy of these instructions, to miss a mark could spell disaster for the rest of the team. 
That's why tadpoles are injected with a blocker enzyme that prevents them from straying from the level designer's plan. So distractions are out of the question. I'd say your best bet is to sneak out of there using your cardboard box. Try to anticipate the tadpoles' movements and avoid being caught in their path. Okay. With a little luck, you should be able to find a hole in their patrol path and sneak your way out. Good luck. He's around here! I know it! Alright. Let's do it. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, there's my air. All right, come on, go last tadpole. Come on, get out of here. Did it. Alright, um, just because I'm paranoid. Alright. None of you are gonna s see me. Alright. I'm the best. Alright. out child perfect Monicon, there's a sleeping kid in here with a note taped to his back what's it say ho 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 i have a machine gun. Gun. oh <laughs> ho, ho, ho. they did do it oh perfect like this elevator is no good either all right gotta gotta love a diehard reference maybe i'll play a diehard game that's that's christmas right We've all come to that consensus. Snake, looks like the box might be useful here. Thanks, nerd. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, all right, cool. There's an elevator to the first floor just east of here. Keep on heading down that path. Thanks, I was. All right. I mean, all right. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. All right. I think I take this kid. Oh, I can't. I can't walk past that. All right, so I have to go around. Didn't realize those boxes were in my way. Best. All right. Wait. Uh, gift back there. Can't just not take that gift. Be rude. Get wrecked, nerd. Santa wants his gift. Hey, there we go. Box A. You found the cardboard box A. Who knew that the A stood for air hole? Well, that doesn't make sense at all, Snake. And anyway, makes as much sense as anything just else. Fine in cardboard box B too. Yeah, because the B stands for breathing hole. Ugh, Snake, that cardboard box has air holes, so you'll be able to sneak around in it without having to take it off to breathe. Very sick. Very cool. Get wrecked. All right. Um. Oh Lord, one of these. Uh, 
All right. We got here. Looks like it's gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna go all the way around. All right. Cool. It's fine. I'm so sneaky. Sneakiest man alive. Sneaky. Oh lord. Alright, uh well, there's no way this goes well. <laughs> Alright. I've left you a little gift around there. Uh, why'd you have to leave it in such a metallically floored area? What's wrong? Right? I thought you might appreciate a little help. You can find something to help you get past that metal floor if you go back to the roof. Oh no! All the way back there. Why didn't you tell me before? I'm a little helper, not a big one. Well, that sucks. It's not even gonna do the nice thing and just take all the children away. Um. All right. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me walk all the way back up there. Uh, we will pick this up on the next episode if you guys like what you saw be sure to like comment and subscribe down below until next time i'm kyle apparently